clouds are just clouds. I was brought up in a house of music. My mother, she often says that uh, when she had her family, one thing she was going to accomplish was every one of her kids was going to be able to play. Uh, and she accomplished that. She taught me and all my brothers. My wife, Debbie Parrott, is a, a musician and a, a singer and a piano player. So uh, the house that we've uh, raised our family in, it was a house full of music. And so that's, that's a big part of our lives. I'm so proud and excited about Hillsborough, I don't think I can talk to you about it without Baldwin. I don't think I appreciated it as much when I was younger. We all had to take fiddle lessons from the time we were five, <laughs> and Rosanna's the only one who did that willingly. Well, willingly, <laughs> not for the first, like, seven years, yeah, I think. You're the only one who came I, around. I remember we used to have to practice in the living room, and I would go in the kitchen and set the timer because we had to practice for 20 minutes, and I would go and play a fiddle tune and then run back in the kitchen and see how long I had been playing for. It was like 30 seconds or something. Oh, 19 minutes and 30 seconds to go. <laughs> How did your ministry and music combine? If I was in charge of theological education, I would make it so that there were two compulsory courses for all ministers. One, how to play a piano, and another one, how to play guitar. I mean, there's nothing uh, like music uh, for uh, bringing people together. The people that I've played with over the years are, are very good, uh, but I'm not very good, I'm very average. I just wanted to play rock and roll and boogie woogie, and uh, I had a hard time to learn properly. And I still, I play by memory and by ear, I don't play by note. In old time music, uh, for uh, guitar and keyboard accompaniment, uh, a person can be uh, quite average and, and can take part, and uh, same with old country music, so it's, uh, there's a place for everybody. You see this in all, all over Nova Scotia, especially in the rural area, there are uh, little jams here, there, and everywhere now, uh, and uh, it's because it's something that people can participate in and, and you can't beat it. Now, what's the first thing you learned to play and what did you play it on? The first tune I learned to play? Oh gracious, um, I would have learned to play it on the piano because that was the instrument we, uh, we had in our home uh, growing up and it is a tune that goes, here we go up a road to a birthday party. <laughs> oh, no, have you heard that before? No. <laughs> well, you, you ask my mother, she's heard it five million times. <laughs>